friends and fellows. Wah, one and all, very welcome to this. Another uh, of the Tewksbury Variety Show. Well, preliminary performance. I will once again be your host for this evening, Herman. And, uh, yes, today we are delving into, or perhaps, uh, participating in, the Watson-Scott test. Very different to, uh, Aram's adventure, the Eight Doors, or Aram's afterlife adventure, but, uh, you know, it, uh, it's good to break it up a bit, and also I saw the, uh, the, the, how, how we'd already done it, and, uh, Every two eight doors, there was a different video coming out, so uh, I, I reckoned we might as well keep with that. And so, we will be doing this. Uh, yes. So, uh, okay. Oh, before we start, uh, Morgan happened to, uh, for a fun piece of trivia, Morgan happened to, uh, horribly oversleep today, so, uh, she shan't be expecting to get her, uh, sleeping schedule in order for a while, I dare say. Sorry, I just slurped the tea. That was, that was awful. I lie, it's not tea, it's coffee. Look. Anyway. So, uh, the Watson Scott test. I have not a lot to expect from this. I, I, it, it, it was released a long while ago. Uh, we purchased it for a future playing. Uh, never got around to it because we didn't get around to doing any recordings for a terribly long time. It seems to have a lot of flickering, glitching going on. So hopefully this is not a. This is not an epilepsy-causing game, but uh, we can never know for sure. Now then, start. This test is designed to help you understand your deepest anxieties and the underlying causes of your darkest fears. For each question, select the response which gives the best and most truthful answer. At the end of the examination, you will receive your analysis and a certificate of participation. Oh, well, that's nice. Please note that typically only 13% of participants are able to complete the test due to the onset of total body paralysis or unanticipated cardiac arrest resulting in death. Do you wish to continue? <laughs> well, if I, uh, uh, you know what? Thirteen percent is an unlucky number, and we are very unlucky. So, by that logic, firstly, some calibration questions. How many minutes are there in one hour? At 60. If I have one apple and you give me two apples, how many apples do I have? That would be three, not infinity. Well, I mean... Let's leave alternate universes out of this. Are you playing a game right now? 
Yes. Are you sure it's a game? Well, I bought it off Steam. Calibration complete. Your test will begin now. Oh, there's a mannequin face in the background there. It's raining outside, and you're walking in bare feet. You take one step forward and crush a snail between your toes. Oh, oh why would you be what? Oh, feel? Yes, guilty. I, uh, it happens, but not in bare feet. I wouldn't be walking in bare feet. That would be... That would be, uh... Ugh. Why do you even do that? But I do feel guilty. A small child is walking down the street with a large ice cream in her hand. She trips and falls, dropping her treat on the ground. You feel... I think we're going down a very particular road here. Or would it be sad or sympathetic? It depends on how the child's going to respond. Probably sympathetic. Or sad. Would it be sad or sympathetic? Hmm. What am I? I'll say sympathetic. You're at a farm. You make eye contact with a cow in the field. The farmer says its name is Samuel. It's dinner time and the farmer serves you a plate of ribeye steak. You Well, life is like this. <laughs> Why would I stab the farm with a knife? That's just a little... Well, I suppose. Anyway, it's... Uh... I will now show you an image. Please study it. The image will not move. Okay, mannequin in the background, I trust you. Okay. Okay, that's... unnerving. Hmm, uneasy. Mm, uneasy. Mostly because you're building up to this. It would probably be a nothing otherwise. I have seen worse things on the internet. Much, much worse things. Right, so... Do you believe in love after love? I believe it didn't get strong enough, oh. I am undecided. Because it's... it's... it's well, uh... Do I believe? I mean, I get. I, I have talked to people who are incredibly reliable sources and have absolutely no reason to lie about such things and have seen things that are genuinely uh, very. Yeah, it, 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 you know, you can't actually just explain away what they, they've seen as something completely uh, logical, sort of thing, because they have seen something completely illogical and supernatural and there's no ways around that sort of thing and have no re reason to lie about it but yes I'd say if uh, if if ghosts do exist that uh, only certain people are able to see them like a uh, sort of uh, sort of like color blindness sort of thing 
that's my theorem anyway. But, uh, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm, I sort of do take a backbench on it, sort of, though. I don't, I don't lean in hard, so, uh, hmm. I do want to say yes, but, uh, say undecided. Have you ever seen a ghost? No, oh, definitely not. Though I did see, uh, I, I did once think I saw a uh, tiny man right across my desk, but uh, that was a, uh, that was just because I was going to sleep and eyes playing tricks on the mind, and also I was a child. And children brains are weird. Thinking about the room you're in right now. Has anyone ever died here? <laughs> Not yet. <laughs> I love that. Uh, hmm. Well, um, actually, someone did pass away in this house, but I don't know if they died in this room. Well, not house per se, uh, but uh, let's go into details. We weren't there for the body. Right. So. Um. Quite unique answers so far. I don't think so. Pretty sure these are normal answers. Please. Indicate how strongly you agree or disagree with the following statements. Ooh, sounds changing. Exciting. I have a vivid imagination. I would say so, yes. I, I get lost in my brains. We all do. Well, all of us in this head. Uh, anyway. I often think about the ghosts inside my house. I actually do. Not like all the time, but uh, sometimes. I do more than what is expected of me. Hmm. Uh... That's an uncomfortable answer. If the power went out at my house, I would think nothing of it. And not assume that someone was breaking in with the intention of murdering me. Oh yes, I strongly agree. I am... None of us are quite that important. <laughs> There is an unexpected guest in my house. <laughs> we have to answer honestly, come on. It's as funny as it would be. Disagree. Nobody would know if I went missing. Oh no, no, it, uh, there's, uh, there's quite a few of us, actually. Poetry is the most intelligent form of artistic expression. Is it, though? I, I wouldn't say that. Sorry. So, sorry, Test, but uh, you're going to have to say no on your poems. Sorry.
Oh no, I've been held prisoner by a poetry test. Roses are red. Silent as a mouse. Your door is unlocked. I'm inside your house. Mm. Congratulations! Only 41% of top participants typically reach this point in the examination. From now on... Oh, there's an escape... Th what was that? Said ex escape key br briefly there. The questions will be much more intense. Do you wish to continue? Well, no sense stopping now. I'm on a roll. How far away is the closest police station? Hmm, more than a... F oh, they've got different sound effects now. That's, uh, that's, that's good. When you're home alone, do you lock your doors? But of course. No oh, wait, I don't think I locked them tonight. Oops. Hypothetically, if you were to scream as loudly as possible right now, would anyone hear you? Hmm. Oh, yes, yes, uh, Schnitz is sleeping in the other room. He's very, very easily woken up. Who else? Uh, oh, and Lester. Lester's sleeping above. So, uh, yes, they're, 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 they're very light sleepers. If you were being tortured, and I said, that I would end your suffering by sawing off one of your arms. Which arm would you like me to remove? <laughs> oh, it's... Okay, right, let's see. So, um, hmm, if it's his right, or her right, then they're behind me, uh, okay, okay, let's see, let's go with, um, hmm, Left or... Hmm... I'll just go with, uh, with, with... Hmm... Wait, what was it? In doing him... I say my left! There we go. Which arm do you think I'd actually cut off. <clears throat> I'm going to die tonight in my house and there's nothing I can do about it. I'd assume left. I mean, you know, uh, I, 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 I get the feeling we're, we're, we're working up some trust here. So, you know, it should be fine. If you were to be murdered with in the next seven minutes to 18 days, which technique would scare you the most? Okay, drowning in a plastic bag filled with water tied around my head, that would be deeply unpleasant. Blunt force trauma, cup in the kitchen sink propelled into skull, uh, asphyxiation from mouth and nose stapled shut, that's, that's unpleasant. Dull ceramic bl and blades inserted delicately into my temple. Hmm. 
is all quite unpleasant ways. Um, hmm. Which would scare the most? Hmm. You know what? I'm going to go with drowning. Yes, I'll go with drowning. I have a... Uh, yes. I will now show you an image. Please study it. The image will not speak. Um, what are the things that keep flashing up? Because those seem like important details that would be useful in law, but or something to that extent. But uh, can't uh, really do that. So, okay. How did that image make you feel? Honestly, it didn't really set me off. Weirdly enough. Calm. Would it make me feel calm? No, no, just, just nothing. I'm afraid. I'll ask this one more time. Oh, are you playing a game right now? I'm playing mind games with you. Oh, do you think you're a good person with this? Oh, do you, do you know that I'm a good person? I'm going to go on the. I'm going to go 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 on the go go out on limb here and have some faith. Are you lying to me right now? Well, if I was lying, then I would wouldn't say I was lying, would I? It's a bit of a moot point, my friend. My friend. Lying is forbidden. Please select any of the following sports that you have played. <laughs> All the self defense classes. Uh, uh, yes, none of the above. Please select any of the following industries that you have occupational experience with. Law enforcement, private security detail, mercenary, military, <laughs> none of the above. I think I did actually apply once for a private security detail, but uh, it's, it's, it's for, for a job thing, but uh, obviously I don't think I had any qualifications for it, so uh, I just say none of the above. Do you trust me to do the right thing? Eh, uh, that does depend, but you do seem quite sincere about whatever you're trying to do here, so, you know. Choose the word that is most similar to appropriate. Uh, kill? No. Baby? Die? Innocent? Eternal? Hmm. Hmm. This is a tricky one. 
Um, right. Innocent, eternal. Don't think any of these are going to do it. Babies are made for, f through most inappropriate methods, after all. So, um. Hmm. Hmm. We shall go with. Eternal. Even though in the hardest of hearts, nothing is. Your recent answers indicate you are exhibiting a flight or fight or flight response and maybe at risk of an acute stress reaction. I need you to breathe slowly and calm down. Okay. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah. It's quite difficult because the caffeine's hitting me right now, so, uh. Yeah. There we go. Take a moment to look away from your monitor and observe the nearest exit. A cure you could run if something were to happen. Do this now. Now. Yeah. Hmm. It's quite a quite a cluttered exit, so uh, it'll be a bit, a bit tricky. Of course I looked away from my screen. Well, that's just plain rude. I'm not going to say that. At least they fudge you. You child-friendly ones. This could be a kid, you know. It's the internet. Half the population are children now. Ah, but in the old days. The old days, children didn't use the internet. They didn't know how to. They were stupid, like I was. But now everyone can use it. And the world is a hideous place for it. Do you think I can tell when you look away from your screen? Maybe? <laughs> Do you feel safe in your house right now? I'll go with an unsure. Are you having fun? You know what? It's, it's uh, I'm, I'm having a good time actually. It's a very, very pleasant, very, very pleasant test. Don't have to uh, go through many, quite so many skill challenges as in eight doors. Just have to click things. Oh. No, uh, right, I should be reading this out. Please ignore any external stimulus ex concentrate only on the screen. There are no unexpected guests in your house. There are no unusual sounds coming from inside your house. Do not take your eyes off the screen. Do you understand? Also, there was a quick, quick b brief of tes text saying, I know when you are lying to me. So, yes. Not really, but yes. Mm, actually, do I understand? Do I understand? I do not understand. No, not really. Right, like, excuse me. Okay, fine. Jeez. Jeezums. Don't move or you will die in the perish. Music can help us all relax. Singing is relaxing. What do you want to choose? Up and down the city road, in and out the hill. 
It's a pop, the pop goes and weasel, pop goes and weasel. Got some, Timmy's got the measles, that's the way the thing goes, pop goes the weasel. Timmy's got the and coughing units on the measles, that's the way the story goes, pop goes the weasel. Oh no. Pop goes the weasel. It's going to jump scare me, isn't it? Yeah. Imagine you endure that jump scare like a boss. Like a professional. I survived the Watson Scott test. I lasted 32 minutes. Uh... Oh, now that's just cheap. 42 seconds. Analysis. Foolish with money. Susceptible to the influence of powerful people. Respectful of elders. Oh, well, that's good. When a child drops her ice cream, I feel sympathetic. I'm most afraid of what other people think of me. You know what? That's uh, that's that's accurate. Actually, I I I'll, I'll give it that. That's uh, yes, I. So I am afraid of that. I'm also afraid of heights and running out of time. Hmm. I wonder if this game's going to close once I finish this, though. Uh, hmm. If it closes, I'll have to uh, round out right, right now. Let's see. Hmm. Was there anything else to discuss? I don't think so. But uh, this was this was fun. Maybe I should, maybe I should play another smaller game. Make this a two-part tiny game play through. Because at this point, with 32 minutes and 42 seconds, that's, uh, it's not exactly, um, well, that's not really a full uh, performance, I don't think. At least, certainly not, uh, not enough for a, uh, to warrant a uh, intermission. Oh, we'll see. Continue. The main test is complete. Oh, there is a bonus test available. Would you like to take it? Oh, yes, certainly. There we go. Very well. The second test is designed to challenge your fear to tolerance. Incorrect answers will be punished. Ignorance will be punished. Oh, great. I must also admit that I have not run this test before. There may be unexpected malfunctions. Your answers will be used in the development of future tests. Complete this test. As quickly as possible for accurate results, but do not let that clock concern you. It is nothing to be concerned about. I am entirely concerned about that clock. I told you what one of my fears were. Time. That's time right there. Doing timey things. After the examination, you will have better results than the purpose and stronger results. I want you to be stronger. Be stronger. Yes, do, doesn't anyone, everyone want to be stronger? I just don't want to work for it. Anyway, let's begin. How many bones are there in a newborn baby that I haven't met yet? Uh... Uh... Let's go for that, that one. Incorrect. Unsurprisingly. One, 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 two, two. What's next? 
Okay, okay, let's think this th through logically. One, one, two. Two? I'm terrible at maths. How many times per year does the average human heart beat? Just not stabbed. Okay, I'm not very good at tests. Very bad at tests. Oh dear golly, I'm bad at tests. Uh, 200 million? Uh, can't be right. Could it be right? No, it can't be. Could it be right? It should be right. Maybe it's right? Uh, mm. No. One of the most venomous land snakes in Australia. The death adder. Okay, I might know this. I know some animals. Bites an adult woman injecting a highly deadly neurotoxin. How long does the woman have to live? Leave. About an hour. I think. It, it, it really clots the blood. I saw a video on it, I think. Oh, come on. Fine, 24 minutes apparently. Man is tied to a chair against his will and the funnel is placed inside his mouth. Pulverized pig intestines are poured in. How much volume does the man's stomach hold before it ruptures? Hmm. I don't know the metric system. Oh, come on, that is correct. I don't know the metric system. The butterflies is called. Oh, leopard. Yes, it would be that. One. A leopard doctor. Where's that bass? There we go. Not here. Boy, on facing west. He walks forward for seconds, then turns ninety degrees left. He sees someone running. He turns back in eighty degrees. Hello, it's uh, Grongo for this intermission. Uh, I'll be uh, just, yeah, today I'll be, I was just told to do something, so I'm going to read an Edgar Allan Poe uh, poem from this book we got from a second-hand store or something. It's a big book. It's got all the pieces. Most of them too long to read on an intermission, though. Okay, let's see here. So... Yeah, there's one called... There's a verse called The Conqueror Worm, so, uh... Yeah, we're gonna just read that. I mean, that counts as an act, right? Poetry. Probably. Okay, here we go. Lo, tis a gala night Within the lonesome latter years An angel throng bewinged bedight In veils and drowned in tears Sit in a theatre to see A play of hopes and fears While the orchestra breathes fitfully the music of the spheres mimes in the form of God on high mumble and mutter low and hither and thither fly mere puppets they who come and go at bidding of vast and formless things that shift the scenery to and fro flapping from out their condor wings invisible woe that motley drama, oh be sure, it shall not be forgot, with its phantom chased forevermore by a crowd that sees it not, through a circle that ever returneth in to the self same spot, and much of madness, more of sin, 
and horror the soul of the plot. But see, amid the mimic rout, a crawl, crawling shape intrude, a blood-red thing that writhes from out the scenic solitude. It writhes, it writhes with mortal pangs. The mimes become its food, and the angels sob at vermin fangs, in human gore imbued. Out, out are the lights, out all, and over each quivering form, the curtain, a funeral pall, comes down with the rush of a storm, and the angels, all pallid and wan, Uprising, unveiling, affirm that the play is the tragedy, man, and its hero, the conqueror worm. So, uh, yeah, that's a that's a poem that I've read. Okay, uh, well, um, suppose that's it for an intermission. Good. Go, go on with other things. Do, do it now. Uh, intermission over. And we return. I hope you enjoyed the intermission. Um, on the note of the, uh, the, the Watson Scott test, uh, personality, personality test even? Um, yes, it ran into some strange technical issues in post. It would seem it didn't show up whilst I was recording it. Uh, so, uh, well, Morgan was a little down about that, but, uh, we'll be fine. We're going to continue on with this game called Parsnip, which uh, I dare say is going to be an adorably cute game and probably not a horror game that I've picked up at some point. Uh, yes, it's, it's, it's definitely going to be a cute and lovely game. Entirely what it looks like on the start menu. This uh, lack of music is Maybe not a promising start, but uh, we shall endeavour to find out. Uh, was there anything else I needed to fill you all in on? Um, oh, yes, uh, the background. Um, yes, it is a bit a bit rustic. Um, we have not quite yet managed... Well, this, is a, this game is a windowed one, and we have not quite yet managed to work out all the kinks of a functioning... Uh, background, so it's going to be rather um, basic, very basic in fact, but uh, well, uh, it's all a work in progress, it's a preliminary rehearsal, that means we're going to continually try to improve things uh, one step at a time. For instance, we didn't used to know about editing, now, now we do, sort of, partly, uh, this, this, this one will be a Good, good, uh, good trial for editing, testing, because of a certain personality test. Um, hopefully it got most of the good stuff in it, though, so, uh... Yes, I think it only malfunctioned on the second test. So, anyway, as we were, uh, parsnip. Some form of... Ooh, my throat, sorry. It is all the strange today. <clears throat> Sorry. Um, hmm. Right, so uh, we shall continue it. A new game. Yawn. I should probably give them a more fitting voice. What a happy morning for me, Parsnip Butter!
I'm awake and I want some cake. But wait, I used all my ingredients last night to bake a cake for tea. You should cut down on the cake, man. Oh no, I only have sugar left. No, oh, this is so sad. I should grab my sugar and then see if my friends can help me. Okay, controls. Left click on an item or character to bring up interaction menu. Right click or hold down the right mouse button anywhere on the screen and parsnip will move there. Use the middle mouse button or the space bar to open or close parsnip's bag. Uh, during dialogue, click anywhere on the screen to advance the text. Press escape to instantly quit the game without saving. Clicking the examine icon will get parsnip to look at the thing. Have useful information, but probably not. Talking, clicking on the pick up thing will put the item in the bag. Keeps any bags he finds in his bag. No, oh, items he picks up in his bag. Sorry, was just clearing my throat a little unpleasantly there. Okay, he has a. He also keeps his to do list in it. Okay, to use an item, click its icon in the bag and click another item or character in the game. In the bag, you can save, load it as something. You can also access this help and change the thing. What, 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 what. There's a little save. Right, so. Yeah, that's cute. Okay, so let's see. That bowl. It's my cake mixing bowl. I always leave it out because I eat a lot of cake. Going to gain so much weight. Oh, right, the voice. Once I have all my ingredients, I can put them in there to make my cake. His voice is probably going to change multiple times. Sugar Daddy is my favorite brand. It has 20% extra sugar per coating than other competing brands. Could have that sugar, man. Indeed. This deed proves I didn't steal this house. I didn't. Okay. Sometimes I get pain in my food by accident. Ha <laughs> ha. Right, so... I just have to find... Oh, right, yes, uh... Uh, bag... Sugar... B bowl... Okay, once I have all my greens, I can put them in there to make the cake. Oop, what is happening there? That's... Uh, that's wrong. Oh dear, that's going to be problematic. Um... Right, so, we shall find out how to exit this house. Okay. Needs flower, do 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 do. No, 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 no. Wait, hold on a sec. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, I am stuck in the house. Hold on a second. Uh, crumbs. Okay, let's see. Uh, da, 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 da.
Hmm. Nope, that's just the credits. No, no, I keep trying to exit. Uh, parsnip. Could you... Oh, wait, that's it. Do, do you need... Oh. Right, well, I'm an idiot. Okay, sorry about that. We are back on schedule. Is that Rosemary's eye? So laugh laugh. What a cute picture. Painting. Uh. What a beautiful doodle. I wonder if it's a self portrait. Right, so, uh. Oh, right, yes, it's just normal click. That's my friend Rosie. She's an artist. She does such pretty drawings. Okay, so, talk to La Rose. Hi, Rosie. With the through this past step is La Rose, not Rosie. Nor is it Ro Rosie, Rosie, Ros, Rose, or Ludwig. I still don't know how you ended up at that last one. Ah, I'm baking a cake today, Rosie. Do you have any ingredients again? No. Well, bye. Okay. That's the field of wheat. Sometimes when I walk past it, I really want to run through it. That would be so naughty. The farmer would not be impressed. Ha ha ha. Now that's where you get your flour from. Well, this will be an awkward question. That's Belle. She delivers our milk. She must be really cool to have a job that important. Hey, Belle. It's me, Parstep. Have you got me my chocolate milk today? Sure do, huh? I bring you it every day, remember? Ah. Uh, you sure do. Should I be doing all the voices again? I don't, don't, don't know if I have the list. Uh, anyway. I can't bring you it right now though, hun. This sheep is in the way. And my contract says nothing about shifting mo rogue sheep. Milk and chirp, but nothing about moving them. That's bar Barrow Council business, see? Well, what a nutty sheep. We should phone the police. You know, partner, maybe you could shoot away from me and then I can deliver your milk. Ugh. Oh, yeah. Voices. I'll just stick with reading without the voices for now. Wow, oh wow, good idea, Belle. No wonder you are a milkwoman with ideas like that. You have all the right moves. This feels wrong somehow. Sure do, hun. You go move that sheep for me. We'll do, Belle. Parsnip to the rescue. That squirrel girl's house. I think her parents must be at work today. This... Oh, should I do... I... This silly sheep is blocking the road. What a mess. This is a crisis. Sheep are such menaces. Oh, it's very awkward that there's a silence. Is, 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 is it meant to be silent? Should I put music in the background? Out of the way, you silly sheep. Stop blocking the road. Shoo, shoo, go away. Oh, that was easy. It worked. I can go down the road now. Oh, they get milk from sheep. This is a strange world we live in. Bell, I moved that silly sheep. I think it ran off back to its field. That's a good work, partner. I'll deliver your milk in a tick, okay? 
Just gonna finish this article. Milk float. That milk float belongs to Belle. She drives it here every day to bring me my chocolate milk. That's so generous of her. Okay. Now yeah, that's Squirrel. Well, Squirrel Girl has some chocolates. Maybe if I ask nicely, I can borrow them for my cake. She, she's a child, dude. Come on. Hi, Squirrel Girl. I'm baking a cake for my breakfast. <clears throat> I'm baking for cake for my breakfast, and I would love to include your chocolates in it. Could I borrow them? No way, old man. These are my chocolates, and I'm gonna eat them all. Besides, my parents told me to never to talk to strangers. Yeah, but I'm not a stranger. I'm Parsnip. Parsnip Bunner. Bunner. The sound. My parents told me you were the most strange stranger, and that I shouldn't talk to you. Yeah. Those jokers. Apparently you're a bad influence. Yeah, those jokers. I'm Parsnip, and I'm a good influence. Hmm. So can I borrow those chocolates now? Nope. These are like the only food I have left besides some twigs I found in the woods. There are some frozen chips in the freezer, but I don't know how to use the oven. I'll help. I'm a great cook. I'm going to hang out by myself now. It's that 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 seems wise. The magnificent magpie. That's the magnificent magpie. They are sure are sure super important. They claim to be the ruler of all these lands. And I for one do not doubt them. Hi, Magnificent Magpie. <laughs> Even thou dost me to service, I ought to be Magnificent Magpie. His voice has no relation to anyone I know. Oops. The, sorry, the Magnificent Magpie. Please forgive me. Thou sort of my trespasses forgiveness. The Magnificent Magpie is merciful after all. Oh, thanks, the magnificent magpie. Swack. There's a lot of animation going on here, though, so that's 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 impressive. Okay, so what was I needing? I need some milk, honey, chocolates, flour. Ooh, the sound. Okay, that's uh, this cottage looks abandoned. It's not very pretty. Oh, I'm talking to it. Hello, who is there? It's me, Parsnip Bunner. I live down the road from you. If I knew someone lived here, I would have visited sooner. Oh, hello, Parsnip Bunner. How can I help you today, small rabbit? I'm baking a cake, and I see you have the only milk left in the lane. Could I borrow it? My, I, I have milk? Well, of course, yes, I do. You may take my milk, Parsnip Bunner. I need it not, after all. Great, thanks, new friend. See you later. Goodbye, Parsnip Bunner. Enjoy the milk. What a nice fellow. Hooray for me. I prefer chocolate milk to normal milk. But last time I made a cake with chocolate milk, it damaged my organs. Haha. <laughs> 
There is something seriously wrong with you, Parsnip. Okay, so what have we got? We got, we got, we got. Yep, we got the milk. We just need honey, chocolates, and flour. Got to steal the chocolates off a small child. Small and very clearly not well looked after child. Okay, what's over this way? Ooh, there's a bee. Bee. Wow, what a big bee. I hope it doesn't sting me. Ha ha ha. Oh, I can save, can't I? I should make a save. I'm going to save over there. Talk to the bee. Buzz, buzz, it's me, Bartsnip. Oh, jeez, kid, what do you want? I'm baking a cake, and I would love to include some honey. Do you know where I could get some? I don't have to time to go to the shops today. It, is, is this a joke? We're, we're bees, kid. We make honey. Whoa, that's amazing. I never knew bees could do that. So do you want some honey? Or are you just going to stand there all day? Can I have some honey, please? Sure, kid. We'll make you a deal. Your aunt used to plant flowers for us, lovely lady. A real dame, you get me? You've been rather useless on that front. If you bring us some new flowers, we'll make you some honey. That a deal, kid? Wow, sure thing. I'll pick up some flowers for you. Well, I suppose I've got a secondary mission. Hmm, cannot go any further. Ooh, there's a flower. That cannot be picked up. I am clicking something else now. Can these be picked up? No. Hmm. Hmm. What is up there? Sparkly tree. That's where the magnificent magpie lives. A pretty palace for a pretty ruler. Now yeah, I'm putting it off. I might as well go ahead and go forth. Bother a small child again. Talk. Hi, squirrel girl. Any chance of me getting those chocolates yet? Go away, I told you, these are mine. Oh, how sad. So mean. So cruel. I need those for my cake. I didn't skip school to listen to you try to guilt trip me, old man. Oh no, it's so naughty to skip school. I don't go to school unless my parents make me. And they've been away at work all week, so I don't gotta go. Pretty sweet, huh? Wow, that's ultra cool. But you know what's cooler? School. Yep. Okay. Uh, Ooh, what's that? That is a letter. Yellow sign, eh? But a pretty picture. Touch. I crawled from my cage, my sisters unaware of my torment, though I no longer read it, the images of the cursed place still filled my sight, burnt into my retinas like the fire of the atom I heard. In my mind whispers broken from the Hades as the king of the pale mask spoke to me, offering me such secrets a way to free my sisters from their empty meaningless lives. Though I could not speak, he knew my thoughts, he knew I would be his. I understand not what he wants from me, for I know he must have something to gain but I will serve nevertheless for if, if it is what must be done to free my king my kin from their mental cage in my mind I saw him as he granted me with a body with which I could serve him I belonged to the king in yellow ah so sure thing mr. I
Okay. Ah, the sheep has had a reawakening. Right, uh, okay. Onwards we go with this perfectly normal point and click adventure game. Ooh. Okay, that's a. Uh... Wait, that. Uh, the cow lady was here before. Oh no, it looks like Belle broke the milk again. How sad. It's not her fault she doesn't have proper paws. I'm getting increasingly worried. That squirrel girl's house. I think our parents must be at work today. Okay, I was... That's a field of wheat. Oh yeah, that. We already read through this. Okay... What lovely eyes! I wish I was a good at, as good at crayons as Rosie is with paint. Okay, let's see. Spill the milk. Oh no, it looks like Belle broke the milk again. Yep, so onwards we go. Back to... Oh, we got the chocolate milk after all. That's good. Belle always brings me chocolate milk. Normal milk is so boring, and I'm a fun bun. Thanks for delivering the milk, Belle. No worries, hon. I get paid for it, remember? By the bottle, actually. That's why I deliver to the empty cottage at the end of the road. Delivering to empty buildings probably makes up half my day. Those suckers at the council have no idea. Wow, that's so clever. Eh, sure is, Parsnip. Eh, sure is. I'll talk to you later, Parsnip. Okay, let's see, what is this? It's a signpost. That's a signpost, it points at things. Oh. Okay. Well, I suppose if we go into the cottage, we might be able to find seeds for flower things. I don't think we have one. That is unfortunate. Boots. Oh, wait, flowers right here, of course. Pick some flowers. I probably should have uh, regular clicked them, but that's okay. Right, so. Shoop -a -doop, doop doop doop. I suppose for the child, we'll have to make them. Uh, Chips using the oven. After sneaking into their house like a weirdo. Just go past the yellow sign, it's fine. Absolutely nothing to worry about there. Bees. You got those flowers yet? No? Then scram. But, but I got the flowers. Look at these flowers, man. Look at how flowery they are. Hey, guys. I have some flowers for you. Nice one, kid. Maybe you aren't as useless as you look. How about you plant them down there? Then we can get to making your honey. My accent is growing thicker. Sure thing, Mr. B. Good job, kid. We'll make you some honey. Might be a few hours though, you hear? There was a union dispute on at the moment. So we're a little behind schedule. That's okay, I'll come back later. Have fun with your new flowers, ha ha ha. Okay. Well, everything's all turning up parsnip for now. Let's see. Ya. Just get a little saving done. 
tout, tout. Sheep. Sheep are like clouds with legs. I think I prefer clouds, though. The reawakening is imminent. Oh, also, I n noticed the background is all watercolors. That's interesting. I'm going to sneak in. No, wait, I can't sneak into the house yet. Hmm. Bother the child again. I don't think she can see me. She must be having too much fun on her game machine. Okay. Wait, is that a... Is there another sign there? Why is there a yellow sign there? When I found the book, I was no more than a beast dumb and thinking, placid in my servitude, but when my uncaring glazed over eyes fell upon the open pages that cursed manuscript, something deep, primal and evil awoke in the depths of my mind. I felt thoughts Thoughts I did not know were possible, and made movements previously unknown to me with my weak, clumsy hooves I turned through the pages of the evil tome. Worlds I have never considered through, flew through my mind, and my understanding of the cruelty of this slave-like, unthinking, robotic existence filled my thoughts. What had previously only been feelings of hunger crumbled to ash. I need to be reborn as a desire for vengeance, a desire for power. I was changing, for I had discovered through poor, pure cosmic chance the play called only the king in yellow. Well, that was weird. Yes. I should probably not look too much into more of those. Just, just ignore any more I see. It's probably, probably not to... Uh, worth investing in. What what items do I need still? Some chocolates, I need some flour. Where do I get flour? I shall ask the only other person chatable. So what's up, Rosie? Are you having a magical day? Great, I'll leave you to it. See if we can sneak into the house. It's Rosie's cottage. It could use more flowers. Maybe I should plant some for her. Yep, we're out of flowers. Okay. It's locked. Good thinking, Rose. You don't want strangers in your house. Okay. I'm trying to figure out where I go with this. I'm a rabbit and I'm skipping around. Right, so how do I get the flower? That is probably the most important part of the cake, really. Cannot go into the acorn cottage. Hmm. What if I gave the chocolate milk to the tiny child? That could be the answer. Oh, okay, let's see. Wow, a bottle of juice. It's like looking at a pho photograph. Give me a moment. Ugh. My throat today. Hmm. We cannot grab the chocolate milk. There is no chocolate milk today. <laughs> do, 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 do. We've got to find that thing. We got to do a thing. We've got to do something. 
There's a sheep. There's another sheep. Do, 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 do. I guess I'll try to talk to the magnificent magpie. Hey there, the magnificent magpie. Fool, pe peasant. There's no way to greet us, a royal. Sorry, the magnificent magpie. I should show more respect to someone as important as you. Squawk. Thou speak truly. I am important, say it is the second time. You're so important, the magnificent magpie. I love you. Verily, now be gone. I must arrange yonder treasures. Is that a knife? Wow, sharp. What a shiny knife. Magnificent magpie loves shiny things. I hope they are safe with that knife, though. Knives are very dangerous. Oh, Parsnip. I, you are increasingly worrying me. New friend. Hello, new friend. Hi, new friend. Good afternoon, Parsnip Bunner. Why have you come here, pray tell? Actually, you wish to bake a sugary food, do you not? I sure do. I'm having it for breakfast. I may be able to offer you flour, should you require it, in return for a few favors. Oh boy, I love helping my friends. I'll do some favors. If it would not be too much trouble, I would very much like some candles. They will guide me and light the path for the king. I can get you some candles. I bet La Rose has some. She has lots of nice stuff. I can't see this going poorly. Ever. It's going to be great. It's going to be wonderful. Bees. Uh, do you have any sanity to share? Come back later, kid. We aren't done yet. Okay. Good, good talk. Okay, well, I uh, can't get the chocolate from the small child yet. Can't get the honey yet. Uh, I suppose we can get started on uh, that. I think everything's going to fall apart very soon. Right, so, um... Until then... Hello, rabbit, person, other rabbit, secondary rabbit. The Rose. Hi, Rosie. You have a lot of nice things. Do you have any candles I could borrow? I mean, I have candles. But you can borrow them. I don't really trust you with anything involving fire. Wow, good point, Rosie. Fire safety is super important. Can I borrow them anyway? No, 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 you can't. Stop pestering me to lend you things. In that case, we can trade. I can park you a picture, paint you a picture, and return for some candles. No, don't do that. I just cannot wait to show you my art skills. No, seriously, Parsnip, leave me alone. See you later, Roxana. Well, here we go. <laughs> okay. Got to paint thing. Got to paint. Paint the thing. Finished. What a pretty painting. Rosie will love it. Cow lady have anything to say? Do you like being a milk woman, Belle? Nope. Wow, I wish I had a cool job like you. See you later, Belle. Okay, okay. That's worrying. Hey, oh, 
sorry, another cough is needed. Good golly. Hey Rosie, look what I made for you. It's a drawing of us. I, uh, I need to clean myself, cleanse my body of this sin. I think she liked it. I can borrow some candles now. I'll follow Roz inside. Dear viewers and audience, please do not do this. This is not a thing people should do. Those must be Rosie's shoes. How pretty. I can probably go outside with them. <laughs> this is a Yep. This is this is a this is a game that we are playing. Right, so uh oh, tiny child has vanished. Probably nothing to worry about. Oh, wait, no tiny child's over there. Just scooting around on little roller skates. Get the candles and put the candles on there. Hi, I brought some candles for you. Oh, wonderful, majestic, my friend Parsnip Bunner. You have most impressed me. There is just one small thing I require, and then you may have your reward. I require a knife, small rabbit, small creature. My previous one was damaged while cutting assorted meats and bones. Hmm. I'm not really supposed to touch knives after the incident, but okay, I'll help. Thank you, Parsnip Bunner. I am most indebted to you. I can only hope your dark future is short and merciful. Yep, okay, we're going into Lovecraft in a route here. Knife. Wow, sharp. What a shiny knife. The magnificent magpie loves shiny things. We hope they are safe with that knife, though. Knives are very dangerous. Okay, so I have to ask for that knife. The magnificent magpie. You love shiny things, and I can see you have a shiny knife. Could I borrow it for a while? Hark! The serf wishes to arm itself. Could this be the start of a revolution? Of a coup? A revolt? No, oh no, of course not. I would never try to overthrow you. Verily, that is what the serf would say to thy ruler. Before usurping their throne. Mayhap if thou proved thy loyalty to me. Tell me how great I art. Magnificent Magpie is a fair and beautiful ruler. We should all look to their majesty. Ma, ma, Squawk. We all bow down to the Magnificent Magpie, the richest and most charming bird to live. Wonderful, wonderful. Squawk. Thou art truly a royal, loyal serf. Thou may have thy knife. Yay, knife. I am concerned. I continue to be concerned by this tiny game. By this well animated game. I have a knife for you. Swish, stab. Cut. Cut, 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 cut. Only joking. It's always important to be careful with knives. Friends get hurt otherwise. Amusing joke, Parsnip Bunner. Now, as promised your reward, some 
flower. Weeds ground to dust as all should be. Hooray! I finally have some flour. It has some dirt in it, but I bet it will still taste great. I should scoop it up and put it in my bag. Right, now to... Hmm... Now to go into the other direction and check the status of the squirrel. I can check on the honey, uh, later. Talk to Squirrel. Hi again, it's me, Parsnip. Don't ask me about my chocolates again, you'll regret it. My uncle works for the company that makes Nightscape and he'll ban your account. Oh no, but I don't even play Nightscape. I get too afraid of cyber bullies. And that game has a lot of computer violence in it. Too scary. No oh, developer, you, you fiend. I know where you're going with this. And I am deeply un deeply afraid. I haven't changed my clothes for a week. Oh, okay. That child just went in a... Uh, questionable direction. I'm sure they will be fine. Everyone will be fine. Hello. Hi, Rosemary. You aren't very talkative today, are you? Really, Parsnip? I wonder why that could be. Oh no, did something happen? You know what you did, Parsnip. Huh, well, I moved to an annoying sheep. You know what, Parsnip? I think I saw a shiny rock on the brain road earlier. Why don't you go play with that for a bit? Wow, a shiny rock! I have to check this out. Make sure the road's real busy first. Will do, Rosie. Thanks for the tip. Cow lady, do you have any information uh, that will uh, delay the inevitable? Hi, Belle. I went round Rosie's house today. Did you now, hon? I didn't realize you two were friends. We are. We love each other. Yeah, I bet. Do 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 do. -do. Yes, uh, let's just take a, take a, take a nice gander at how all of this is not going anywhere dark, bad, or, um, unsettling in the near future. It's all going to be fine. Every, everyone's going to be fine. No one's, no one's going to be hurt. It's going to be fine. Yep, just, uh, just, just going to be fine. It's all going to be fine. It's all going to be absolutely spiffing. Nothing bad will be happening today. Oh. Oh, she's fine, actually. I don't think she can see me. She must be having too much fun on her game machine. Okay, well, yeah, it's, everything's okay. Well, what do you know? I'm gonna talk to this bee. Hey guys, is my honey ready yet? Sure is, kid. Take it. It's time for us to clock off. Wow, it looks so tasty. Dang straight it does, kid. Now, run along, we gotta clear up. Everything is... Yeah, that seems fine. Everything's fine. 
That looks like Squirrel Girl's skate. I guess she must have lost it here. Wow, Squirrel Girl left her chocolates out here for me. How kind. Thank you, Squirrel Girl. Yep, uh, yep. That's just, uh... Thank you, Parsnip Bunner, for all your help. Now return here not. I have much to attend to. I am sorry for what shall transpire. Ah, okay, see you later, best friend. My new friend lives in there. I guess they don't have much time to tidy. Okay. It's fine, it's fine, everything's fine. Everything's, everything's fine. Let's just go make our cake. It's all okay. Hi, Rosie. Parsnip, it's like 4 p.m. I am way too tired to talk to you right now. Conversations with you are like snorting e-numbers. That's okay. It's almost time for my breakfast. Breakfast, parsnip. At 4 p.m. A cake. For breakfast. At 4 p.m. It's almost the evening. Nope. I haven't had breakfast yet. So it's still morning. Oh, of course, parsnip. I forgot time revolves around you. Parsnip, the deity of time. The center of the universe. I don't know what those words mean, but I agree. You should be a lot more worried, LaRose. Seriously. Okay. Oh, so, uh... No war crime is happening here, or crimes in general, I suppose. It's not really a war crime, just... Gross negligence. Hi, Belle, how are you? Tired, hon. It's gotten late. I guess you're really enjoying your special magazine. Guess so. I'm sure everyone will be fine. Every, every, everything will be fine here. Yes, uh, bowl. I can put my ingredients in my bowl now. Put the flour in the bowl. Here's some flour, Mr. Cake. It almost looks like it's sugar. I wish it was. Here's the milk. This milk will be great for my cake. Some ch chocolates. These chocolates I picked off the floor look so tasty. I wish I had more. Honey. Time to pour the honey in. It smells so sweet. And last but not least, sugar. I'm going to pour this entire bag of sugar into my mix. Mmm, my cake is ready. It looks so yummy. Maybe I should share it with my friends. Or I could just put it on my plate and eat it up straight away. Mmm. Look at the cake. Mmm, my cake is ready. It looks so yummy. Maybe I should share with my friends. Or I could just eat it, put it on my plate, and eat it up straight away. Mmm. Okay, well, we've saved that. Our sins cannot be undone. Uh, so, hmm. Give me a quick little moment, uh... Probably not time for an intermission, just a... Well, sort of an intermission, but not an intermission with an act, so give me a moment, please. And back again, sorry about that. Uh, well, I have a cake. I suppose I might as well share it, now that everyone's... 
been traumatized by me or some people have been traumatized by me might as well try and make it worth the cost uh, but uh yes hopefully it's not poisoned that'd be nice if it's not poisoned hey bell i finished my cake would you like a slice oh sure hon pass me a slice here you go. I hope you like it. She's definitely okay. Hmm? I'm almost ready to bake my cake. Well, good for you, hon. It sounds like you've had a busy day. Wowie, I sure have. But it'll be all worth it once I eat my breakfast. It's like 4 p.m., but sure, hon, I bet it will. Okay. I get the... Horrible feeling that sharing the cake is a terrible idea, but uh, here we go. Hey Rosie, would you like some cake? Uh, I don't know, Parsnip. You've been really weirding me out today. But I guess a slice of cake might make up for you being a little freak, though. So I guess I'll have a slice. Haha, <laughs> here you go. I hope you like it. Oh, it is absolutely poisoned, isn't it? I've just murdered everyone. That's Squirrel Girl's house. I think her parents must be at work today. Yep, and, uh, yep. Here I am. Apparently, probably killing everybody. I'm just sure there's a nasty twist coming up. Hi, the Magnificent Magpie. Would you like some cake? Squawk! Verily, a cake is a dish worthy of any ruler. Hand it over, sir. Th Here you go. Hope you enjoy your treat. Cake? No, I can't give it to the sheep. Well, sometimes milk these sheep. I would never do that. I don't trust them not to give me a chomp. You, friend, have a cake? Hi, you, friend. I finished my cake. Would you like some? Some cake, sugar? Why, today's activities have left me rather hungry. I will have some cake, parsnip bunner. Post it through a letterbox and I shall enjoy it. Cool, super cool. Hope you like it. Off to... Is... Do the bees have any? Beehive. That's the beehive. I think bees probably live there. Well, yeah, might as well give it to everyone. Nope. Okay. The bees are... Spared from Parsnip's fury. Do 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 Well the magpie seems fine Um Yes everyone's fine Every one is perfectly fine yeah, everyone Absolutely everyone. Okay, let's see. Cake on the plate. Yum! It's finally time to eat my cake. Oh. Oh no, they are poisoned. Okay. <laughs> uh. <laughs> okay, well, that was a game. 
do sort of want to see what happens if I don't do that, but at the same time, I, well, actually, I could give. Yes, no, I should probably save the child and see what we get if we get the good ending, so to speak. Let's see, what is the thing? It was oh, load a save game. There we go. Right, so I have not given them any cake in this version of the events. I believe. One sec, let me just briefly, temporarily poison Belle again, just to be sure. Hey Belle, I finished my cake. Da -da 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 -da. Very poor idea. Don't eat the don't don't eat the cake, Belle. Okay, let's go back. Let's change the timeline again. Right. So we go forth. We uh. I suppose we give that cake to the sheep to, uh, uh, to prevent the apocalypse that we have inadvertently started, and also save the squirrel, I guess. Multiple endings. Imagine there's a lot of fascinating endings, but, uh, well, we managed to get the only semi-terrible one. I think the most terrible one would just be to forget to do this. Hi, new friend. I finished my cake. Would you like some? Some cake, sugar. Why, today's activities have left me rather hungry. I will have some cake, parsnip punner. Post it through the letterbox, and I shall enjoy it. Cool. Super cool. I hope you like it. It's for the best, I'm afraid. Sorry, cultist, but, uh, are trying to murder children. I'm sure this is fine. This is, this is, yeah. Let's just, uh, avoid murdering all the people that we have thusly, uh, made problems for this whole time, and, uh, yes, cake on the thing. And apparently Parsnip is the only one who can eat it without dying. Somehow not at all surprising, I suppose. Yum, it's finally time to eat my cake. We have saved the squirrel. Oh, wait, I just realized those are two squirrel skulls and the thing and her parents are missing. Well, uh, yes, so that was uh, no, no real difference there, but uh, yes, that was Parsnip. Game code Parsnip. It was all about, uh... What you saw it was just a just a harmless cake supply gather Ooh, pardon me cake supply gathering thingamajig and uh we did it we completed it it was a very well made game actually it just uh like the artisticness and the just general uh, niceness so poppy is programming game and Level design and writing, and Mez would be the one who did the art and the animation, character design, additional writing. And they both did amazingly, so, uh, I'm not really sure how you would contact them, or if they've done other things or something, or if there's a thing which you can like, or whatever magic, but, uh, give them some love. Oh, yes, there's a thing there. Just don't spam them with messages, I suppose, or something. Just, just, just give, give, give them some love, I guess. And, uh, yes, that would be it. Uh, until next time, then, dear watchers and waiters, we hope you have enjoyed the show. Stay safe, remain happy, and do enjoy the rest of your day. Farewell. <laughs>